because traveling underwater is not pleasant for high-frequency radio used for live video feedback on aerial drones, the power rate is equipped with a 70 meters 230 feet umbilical line that lies gently behind it. A central vertical driver is also included in the body to make altering depth straightforward and without tangles in the communication connection. Ray adds two 450 lumen dimmable headlights to illuminate the subject, which can be captured in 4K, 30 frames per second max, or 4000 by 3000 pixel stills. The deep can be a murky place, even the first few feet, so Ray adds two 450 lumen dimmable headlights to illuminate the subject, which can be captured in 4K, 30 frames per second max, or 4000 by 3000 pixel stills. The camera is more than capable at the depths the power rate can withstand, with a maximum ISO of 1600, despite the 1 slash 2.3 inch sensor. In an ideal world, the sensor would be larger. Depending on the version you purchase, you'll get 32 or 64 gigabytes of SD storage, but you can put your own card in. The PowerRay Explorer is the entry-level drone for filming video, while the PowerRay Wizard adds the PowerSeeker sonar equipment, which can detect underwater landscape and use temperature data to pinpoint fishing places, a bait dropper, and hand baggage. The Zeiss VR1 goggles and a friendly travel case provide an alternate way to explore the depths from above deck. Not only is the latter a lot of fun, but it also makes enjoying 1080p live feedback on a sunny day easier than on your phone screen. Everyone who wants to explore the undersea world, whether for business or leisure purposes, will benefit from this innovative underwater drone. The Power Ray can dive to a depth of 98 feet underwater. The vehicle is connected to the Power Ray base station via a 230 foot waterproof tether. Only the Power Ray Wizard has advanced technology. 1. Use the Power Seeker Fish Finder sonar and magnetic bait drop to detect and place bait in any desired location. 2. The VR goggles with Power Vision Edition provide a fresh new aquatic experience in immersive first person perspective. The PowerRay Explorer is the entry-level drone for filming video, while the PowerRay Wizard adds the PowerSeeker sonar equipment, which can detect underwater landscape and use temperature data to pinpoint fishing places, a bait dropper, and hand baggage. Setting up the drone is rather simple, as it comes in a lovely backpack similar to those photographers used to carry a body and lenses, with a laptop in a separate area, a supplied towel means you can securely set the drone down on sharp coastal rocks. The protective caps for the 50M or 100M tether line are easily lost on the downside, but otherwise, the drone is well built and can be thrown into the water after setup, and it can withstand a few blows underwater. The vivid color stands out as well. Depthlock, similar to altitude hold on a flying drone, is one of the smart features, and there's 64 gigabytes of storage to record to. The drone's five thrusters allow it to react quickly. When you need to look around, you can tilt your body up or down. The pitch can be locked, but the camera, and accompanying 1200 lumen lights, cannot be turned independently, making this a true pilot's craft with which to have fun. The Clever app is simple to use, VR compatible, and the 4K UHD camera gives excellent pictures, with the sole criticism being that the image stabilization may be better in rougher waters. In many ways, this is a scaled-down counterpart of Chasing's Gladius Mini. It's unmistakably the same bright yellow, and it features the nimble 5 thruster design that allows you to tilt the body, and, by extension, the camera, up and down. If you're concerned that this would make it difficult to manage, rest assured that the depth lock feature from its bigger brother has been kept. So, how did Chasing get the price down to around $500-pound-450? To begin with, the camera is a lower resolution 1080p, with just 250 lumens of illumination, which shouldn't be an issue at shorter depths. Second, the umbilical is much shorter, albeit the surface end is actually a floating Wi-Fi buoy, so you can put it in the water and it will float. You have control as long as you're within Wi-Fi range of it, which isn't far considering the water, 
allowing you to make the most of the 15 meters, 50 feet tether. Finally, all of the control is done through the app, so there is no need for a hardware controller. That means you'll have to be careful not to get water on the touchscreen, but the battery is built into the drone and is the only thing you'll need to charge, and the 720p livestream is great for piloting. For the most part, this will suffice as an underwater drone, and the app is well equipped, even allowing live streaming to social media. This could enhance the enjoyment of a boat ride or perhaps add educational value to the experience. Dory can dive to a depth of 49 feet and is equipped with an HD camera for real-time observation and the capture of images and films. The combination of Dory's 1080p f/1, 6 camera and 2 250 lumen lighting opens up a whole new universe of exploration. Photos and videos show true dynamic color in all settings thanks to Dory's built-in true color restoration system. Explore the sea as if it were a game, Dory is really simple to use, plug it in, turn it on, and see what happens. Your phone can remotely operate the underwater drone using the Chasing Go 2 app to dive, forward and backward, move up and down, tilt up and down, and lock the depth, just like a controller. Exploring the ocean below is as simple and enjoyable as playing a game. Take part in the fun, Dory's dual role is a big plus. You and a close friend or family member can pilot the underwater drone with camera. Furthermore, the Chasing Go 2 app makes it simple to post live streaming and underwater footage on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or any other social media network. Make a splash at your next pool party or snorkeling excursion. The power dolphin, like its natural counterpart, schemes across the surface, able to see above and below. Piloting is a phone-ready remote controller with an app that uses your phone as a monitor, this will be extremely recognizable to PowerAg X users, as it's the same controller and the same vision plus two software. Android and iOS versions are available. While the ship is still on the surface, carried forward by two propellers, the 4K camera can be mounted on an arm and rotated to see 150 degrees down into the water or 70 degrees above the surface, similar to how an aerial drone's camera gimbal may be rotated. Because you're above water, you can use GPS to find your way back home. If all you want to do is skim over the surface, the Power Dolphin standard pack will suffice, however the Power Dolphin Explorer adds a better remote and an 800M range, though it helps to stand a few feet above the surface, say on a boat. While widening your range of water exploration, Power Dolphin provides mobile fish finding capability and outstanding video performance. The Power Dolphin Wizard Edition, on the other hand, offers the finest value, as it includes the Power Seeker sonar equipment, which can be used to map the waterbed or search for fish in efficient grid patterns, as well as a bait dropping box to increase your chances. The Power Dolphin is an unusual amphibious craft that allows you to film below the surface of the water. Other marine drones have a long wire connecting them to the control unit, but the Dolphin is totally wireless and uses either a phone app, compatible with iOS and Android, or a remote control. When you take the drone out of the box, you can see right away that this isn't your typical drone. With two props on the rear and an articulated camera on the front, the design is sleek and well thought out. If you're flying the Power Dolphin in saltwater, you'll need to add weight using a series of weights, just like other marine drones. Otherwise, it's ready to fly right out of the box. Or, at the very least, once you've charged it. When it comes to outer appearances, there isn't much to it. 
Simply charge it, connect it to the app, and then drop it in the water.